So, you've been hearing a bunch about New World's first paid expansion recently and have been thinking about getting back into it. Or maybe you've already given it a try and remember New World on launch wasn't the greatest. I've been in the same boat, and between all my Steam games, I've been playing New World time and time again. Weird flex, I have over 4,000 hours in the game and have leveled 3 characters of 60 on 3 different servers. During that time, I have learned a whole lot about New World, and so today I thought I'd dig in to some of that upcoming content. Rise of the Angry Earth, and share five things I think you should know before entering your journey into the Legion of Wilds that was once known as First Light. Alright, first things first. New and returning players, I've got some information for you. So let's start with new players who are starting out at level 1. You'll be pleased to know that this expansion offers you a full game unlike what we had to go through two years prior. You'll build and enjoy a 1 to 65 story filled cinematic adventure, a 30% boost towards weapon level experience, and quality of life options like mounts, gear sets, and many more. If someone asked the question, is New World a grind from 1 to 65? Personally, I would say no, compared to other MMOs that I've played before. New World gives you a linear story progression that can get you level 60 fairly easy, and from 60 to 65 is honestly a joke. You'll hit max level before attempting to step foot into Legion Wilds, and the reason for this is that Brimstone Sands DLC offered a ton of new level 60 quests, but had no level cap increase attached to it, unlike what we see in this expansion. Alright, enough about new players, let's talk about you, returning players who have accomplished all the missions, all the quests, before the launch of the Rise of the Angry Earth. Don't worry, you'll be just fine. Actually, questing from 60 to 65 will approximately take you 3 hours non-stop in Legion Wilds to get to max level. This does not include you tryhards out there. This also does not include the new faction reputation level increase, the new mount missions which will turn you into Abyss Rider at 210 trade skill, and not to mention the artifact quest you must accomplish to even use the item to its full potential. Getting to 65 is not a time sink, the real grind starts when you think about 700 gear score Abyss. Now at 699 to 700 gear score, they offer you one additional attribute point per item, and thus offering you 10 additional attribute points when you have a whole set of 700 items. This will help you towards your min-max character development, and thus, that's where the true grind lies, not the leveling experience. Alright, enough about leveling, let's look forward to... Alright gamers, let's cut straight to the chase. If you are already at 600 to 625 gear score, I mean, the main story quest isn't really going to make a difference for you, except for the final reward, which we'll dive into later. The quest rewards are honestly aimed more towards new players, that's so they can jump right into the expansion to meet you and other current players' gear score and above. The expansion literally is a soft reset for all players alike, including new and existing players, so it's a perfect time for you to join now. The rewards are between 630 gear score and 650 gear score, which is a great intro to grinding gear score with everyone in the open world. Sadly, those items will be rendered useless in the long term, except for the final reward, which is a Biss artifact. The attuned leather pants coming in as a medium legwear with an equal armor rating split, offering you the highest attribute increase in any armor piece at a whopping 50 magnify through the highest attribute, not including the additional 50 attribute points thanks to the perk Well-Rounded that adds 10 to all attributes. This artifact also comes in with two locked-in perks which you have to do quests for, which are best for all classes when it's completed. It gives you refreshing and elemental version with an empty socket slot. The last perk will be a random perk at first, and then you can change to any perk of your desire. This is one of the greatest artifacts as well-rounded. <laughs> Get it? The perk? Well-rounded? Anyways, the point I'm trying to say is you can be using it in all weight classes, which is fantastic. So don't forget to basically finish the quest on this and use it as one of your main pieces. Look, I can talk about artifacts all day, so we'll do a deep dive on artifacts in another video. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, or else how else am I going to tell you all about it? Anyways, let me show you a quick sneak peek on all the artifacts. All right, enough talk about quest rewards. Let's go ahead and talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for one of the most anticipated products we've all been waiting for is here. And we are talking about mounts, baby. Well, we can finally celebrate as they are officially in this latest expansion. This includes a ton of new quests that will help you level up this new training skill called riding. And you'll be able to obtain three new mount types. Now, this is for all you tryhards out there. Make sure you level up your writing skill to at least 210 for the epic item called Cavalier's Crest, since the legendary version has no info on it, so we'll have to make do with the epic one for now. Alright, this item will change your mount summoning speed from 3 to 2 seconds. I mean, I don't need to explain this any further for you tryhards out there, the importance of this. But, what you need to understand for you non-tryhards out there, this is night and day. 
Reaching 200 riding skill, you will have the highest passive run speed boost to the point where you're literally flying past every player who hasn't achieved this rank, allowing you to chase down anyone and showing them who's boss. This is going to be huge in the open world, allowing you to have the upper edge since movement speed is king in all games. Now, for the first mount quest, you'll get familiar with the skill and you'll unlock a horse mount that you can travel across the tournament entering races that will challenge you as a rider. As you can see, some of these will come down to the wire. Now, a little friendly tip for you. Do not flag for PvP, you sick or you will regret it. Enough said. Let's move on. As you progress through your journey, you will unlock a wolf and you will unlock a lion mount as well for free. They also offer a ton of mount skins in the cash shop so you can choose from. Please note that they all have the same base speed, so there's no pay to win options here unless you don't have the expansion. Anywho, I chose the golden line at Venya to match my in-game character. I mean, come on, being a Persian male, I was crowned by my parents the moment I was born as a doodle tala. Don't go gold. Well, <laughs> I think that's enough about my golden Never mind. Let's go talk about it. A lot of you agree with me when I say the faction vendor has been neglected for some time now. You will see in the new expansion, the faction vendor is now super important for all players, including new returning and existing gamers alike. Since I play on the Syndicate, the newest rank is called Magus. For those of you that play on the two other factions, just assume I'm speaking about their final rank tier 6. Now, this is for all you gamers out there. Pick up the newest faction gear at 675 gear score, including the weapons if you haven't found one at 675 and above in the in-game marketplace, aka the trader, or out in the open world. The reason for this is that Mutation Level 2 dungeons start at 675 gear score, and the faction vendor allows you to have a great kickstart in your adventure, skipping the 650 gear score requirement in Mutator Level 1, slowly helping you push your gear score to 695 to 700 to start your Mutation 3 grind. Now, let's dive into how the faction vendor plays into the in-game grind for gear. The most important item that you'll be grinding daily are called Chromatic Seals. They cost 5k gold and 20k faction tokens, and this item is only available in the faction vendor once a day, and it's buying on pickup. You'll be able to use this Chromatic Seal on the Gypsum Kiln to push your named item to 700 gear score that'll allow you to change slash add the final perk to your named item or artifact of your choosing. It'll require between one Chromatic Seal for the artifact, and while it'll require three Chromatic Seals on a named item, You'll need to log in a maximum of 30 days purchasing these Chromatic Seals daily to obtain a perfect set of 10 items including weapons, armor, and jewelry to become Biss. This is not as difficult to accomplish since years prior we had to pray to the RNG gods. This does not require you to be a master crafter to obtain the gear of your dreams, but some of these items will not be available in a 3 per combination using only named items or artifacts, and that's where you'll be forced to team up with a 250 trade skill master crafter or become a master crafter yourself. If you wish to craft your own personal gear, you'll need 250 trade skill plus trade skill armor plus trade skill jewelry and all three major trophies. And last but not least, you'll need Azov inductors that is bind on pickup and only purchasable once a week, not including all the materials you need to craft said item. Now, to obtain the final rank to be able to purchase the chromatic seals, you'll be able, you'll need to basically raise your rank from rank 5 at 49,000 points to rank 6 at 85,000 points. Here are some of the fastest ways to obtain reputation points. You'll either be doing the quests that are offered at vendors like at Brimstone Sands for the PvE or PvP side, or you can try out the new Elysian Wilds PvE quest, but sadly there's only one option for PvP there. You can also obviously match up in OPR, which is Outpost Rush, 3 vs 3 arenas, or, in my opinion, the newest fastest way is to show up to open world scheduled PvP fights called the upcoming races and securing kills with your team, raid parties, is one of the fastest ways I got from rank 5 to rank 6 and maxed out all of my tokens. Here's a sneak peek of what it looks like day one of the upcoming races in multiple territories that replaced some of the gruesome PvP missions that we had to do that we hated and despised. I mean, look, it took you long enough, but hey, this new change, I'm willing to forgive.
This is one thing I want to mention to all devs out there that are working on this game. Please do not remove the gear drops or the score that they're currently obtainable in or we will riot. This is one of the main reasons why PvEers actually showed up to PvP because of the item drops, season XP, faction coins, and more. Alright, enough showing off. <laughs> Let's go into our final tip. Let's talk about... Spoiler alert. The website we are offering you will give you every location of every item you wish to grind for. So if you're the type of person who wishes to find these items on your own, feel free to skip this section. The website is called New World Database, also known as nwb.info. This will help you sort out any questions you might have as to where to find said artifacts, named items, mount, legendary, drop locations, searching for perk combinations that named gear might come from the farm for, plus quest information that are all tied together to help you find the prerequisite to start said quest. Server status info, such as showcasing the population of each server on their peaks and lows, as well as a skill builder to help create builds to share with your friends and more. I want to thank you all for joining me in this video, and if you're going to be playing Rise of the Angry Earth, and I hope this was helpful. And if so, feel free to stop by and say hi to me live on stream. I always appreciate it. And if it wasn't, let me know and I'll offer you something in return. Or feel free to comment down below. You can find me inside Isabella. I mean in-game server Isabella. Guys, chill, chill, chill. Until next time, arigato and thank you.